<laughs> local politicians saying we could close the bars at midnight because apparently with the facts that we know, uh, this virus stops killing people once it travels a distance of six feet. And apparently now it only attacks after midnight. So uh, 1201 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time, get in your houses. But here we are, Jada Pinkett Smith. Everyone's okay with her grooming a uh, the child as her uh, lover as he cheats on Will Smith. The genie, but that's the thing. In West Philadelphia. Oh, I don't even want to get started on that one. <laughs> it's a new day. Apparently, my notes. I have a lot of notes today, but I really don't know uh, where to begin. Like, I, you know, when you just write one word and then it sounds good at the time, and then you read it and you're like, I don't know what the fudge I was talking about. But yeah, here we are. A new day, a new dollar. Just hanging out with my Kylo Ren mask. And my new The Child plush doll that I randomly came across at my local department store. A.K.A. Baby Yoda's. Oh, hi, daddy. You just called a child. Yeah, shut the hell up. You know what? I got it. I got it. I'm a Star Wars fan. But not that, you know. It's like everything must be canon to make movies. How dare you? Oh, shut the fuck uh, Anyway, let's begin with the notes. How's everybody doing? I can't believe I'm still keeping this up. I'm actually kind of proud of myself. Uh, just making sure I'm recording the thing because there have been a few times where I'm like five minutes deep and didn't record schnitz. If that's even a word, but yeah, here we go. Ah, oh God. All right, if you followed uh, one of our band, one of the bands that I'm in, Beware the Bear, uh, we just dropped... I guess an official music video, if you will. You know, it, it, it seems like the time to do so. And uh, Justin and I rarely hang out as much because, you know, we got our own things. He has a, a daughter and then I work from home. So it's not our, our schedules collide naturally. And then we were fortunate to have a day. It was like, hey, man, let's hang out. And then I was taking shit, right? <laughs> and then I, I replied to him back. I replied back to him. Whoa, what the hell was that? I replied back to him. I was like, hey, how do you feel about doing a music video with just you? And uh, I na I dropped the song. Yeah, let's do uh, This Is The Way. It's the, the second to the last song on the album that was dropped. And then apparently it worked like clockwork because he had um, thought of this exact scenario in his head. If give or take a few different um, verbiage, but uh, yeah, um, all the stars aligned, and we he picked me up, and we went down to the local district park across the street from me here in Mililani, and it was almost the perfect time of day to shoot, other than the fact that it was raining, which is fine. There was still sun peeking out and all that stuff, and it was still good lighting. Weather was pretty good, and then. Even though the sunlight wasn't ideal as what I had envisioned for filming, it, it, we pulled it off. I mean, I'll, I'll put the link and stuff below on where you can stream um, the video if you if you aren't subscribed already. If you are, please subscribe. Hit that bell over there. Over there. I don't know. This recording is probably flipping the video, and I don't know the orientation, but what the hell. Yeah, we shot this video at the park. Took maybe an hour. We, we did... um. We did a three different takes. We did like a two solo performance shots and one wide, wide angle type shot. Just kind of step in the back and let him do his thing. And then I, f I felt out it came out pretty good. I'm, I'm a horrible critic when it comes to my own stuff. But considering the fact that we had no planning, we had no storyboard or idea, just the fact that we clicked together and it worked well with the lighting. And it came out a pretty cool music video. I mean, we didn't have a concept or anything right off the bat. Uh, but he picked me up and I was like, hey, do we have some props? Like, do we do we need a, like a guitar, like a notepad? Let's just take stuff of you writing down, jotting stuff down. And then the tumbleweed of ideas started rolling. And got a nice little, yeah, little storyline, little twisting thing at the end. Nothing too major. I just 
well, just I just thought it was cool the way we had no plan of doing it and the way it, I edited it, edited it, edited it, and then yeah, just the way it came out, it was cool. So please click the link somewhere below or maybe the tag. Will the the card or the tag be over here? Hopefully it pops up like right now. Click that, watch it, like, subscribe, you blah blah blah, and enjoy. And once again, beware the bear. Congratulations, Justin, on your first music video. There you go. Yeah. Filmed by me. I wasn't a part of it. Because we had no one to, to film the thing. That's the thing. Like, like, oh, why weren't you a part of the videos? Like, I was filming the thing. Like, how the hell am I going to be a part of it without like, it looking weird? Just selfie stick the, the, the video camera on me? <laughs> video camera. What am I? 1990s over here? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was cool. Yeah. So please check it out. Ah. I just had a, a flashback of a character that I've seen in public, aka in real life. Um, I'm going to try to be delicate about this as much as I can. All right. Let me describe this guy. First of all, let me let me let me just start off with like why it just irritated me. And then it's not necessarily the features itself. It's just the features that added on which made me more irritated. Long story short, this guy looked like a piece of shit. But anyway, uh yeah. He was already loud, came in came into he was in the area just apparently drunk, maybe have came from somewhere else already pre gamed. And ended up here, already loud as shit. Can't even hear anything going on, any conversations. And then, of course, he would have a man bun. He would have a beard. And it's not the beard thing. He just was, was kind of those, like, kept talking out loud, kept playing with his beard. I was like, oh, imagine how much fragments of shit is in that thing. He just kept doing this thing. And then just being loud and stuff like that. And of course, he doesn't have any underwear on because he keeps dropping stuff, bending over. And apparently that ass plumber's crack just keeps facing me. And what the hell? It's just the universe is messing me, that's all. And you know what? Bring it. Yep. Crack it away. And of course, he's wearing these uh, these uh, egg, egg, egg white shell pants. And you know, you know, he... <laughs> You know he'd be rolling up the leg, the leg, uh, pant things, just cuffing it up to his mid calf, and stuff like that. And yeah, he just kept, uh, just would not shut up, just being loud about every single thing. Oh, God. I think it was just, I don't know what it was. Could it be the loud, the loudness first, just obnoxious, and then the characteristics of what he looked like as a person would ir irritated me more. It's like man. I thought, nah, I'll just shut up already, but, you know, what the hell? This is my vent. <laughs> what you gonna do? You can stop the video. I don't really care. I'm doing this for me. Yeah. And another thing that irritated me. Today. No, yesterday. I'm losing track of, of days. I don't even know what, what, where are we at right now? What month are we in? July? Are we like halfway through July already? Cheese and rice. Yeah, there there was two things that kind of kind of really pisses me off nowadays. Like people who like to post or exclaim that they're totally off the grid. Maybe it's it's just them outdoorsy somewhere on a beach or at a hike somewhere. It's like, oh, I'm off the grid today. <laughs> like. You're on social media. Like, how are you? How are you off the grid? Like, shut up. I'm sorry, child. Yeah, was, and then you're just posing unnecessarily explicit. It's like, oh, um, don't let anyone judge you. Uh, cleavage. Uh, I'm gonna stick my ass out three fourths of this thing. It's like, uh, be yourself. Shut the hell up. You're not off the grid doing that shit. Put some clothes on, Kevin. <laughs> You guys just assume it was a girl? What's wrong with you? How dare you? In 2020, can't do that shit. <laughs> yeah, 
And like uh, another thing, like for some reason this week, a lot of people have been doing the whole speakerphone in public thing. Like what the hell is that all about? Like no one needs that public conversation of what you need in your fridge, what you have or don't have in your fridge. Like via speakerphone. Like there's earbuds, there's headphones for that. Oh, uh, you can just go the old school way because there's a there's a there's a a, a earpiece thing right here. Or you can go traditional. There you go, right? <laughs> yeah, oh my God, you're older than me. You know how this thing works. It's such a dad thing to do. Not necessarily shitting on my dad, but it's like you know, like when you're you're showing your age and stuff like that, like like dad dad moments and stuff like that. Yeah, you know how that goes. That shit was irritating. Like apparently they're always around me. <laughs> of course. It's like, I, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I, I did and I buy milk, milk the other day. Yeah, uh, no, there's only two cheeses here, American and a, and a provolone. No, no, no butter. It's like, <laughs> really? Oh, man. I, okay, all right, positive note. Been going back to the gym, and I, I really want to give a shout out to uh, this particular 24-hour fitness in Milani that has been very good and very on point with their sanitizing, their cleansing, their their willingness to keep things above and beyond clean and on schedule and just helping everybody out and just make sure everything moves smoothly as possible. And I have no complaints once at all. Did I just say once at all? I have no complaints whatsoever. Jeez, I need to take some vitamins. I thought I did. I, I took a protein shake and a and this this berry mix smoothie. Guess not. We need some Econesia vitamin C up in this system. <laughs> yeah, good job, 24 Hour Fitness. And please don't overcharge me. <laughs> oh yeah. And what what the hell is with these rational 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 national days? Jeez, my brain is misfiring on no cylinders today. Oh, man. Random national holidays. It's like, I don't remember any of these national French Fridays, national donut days. I don't remember any of this growing up as a kid or anything through school or growing up. It just feels like it just started within the last few years. Am I wrong? Am I right? Or is it just now being publicized to distract us from... The man. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I just feel like there's something every day, if not weekly. I mean, which is cool. Was like, it just seems like, when did this happen? And why was this around? Apparently, it's been around. But, I don't know. No one brought it up when I was in school. I would have loved National Donut Day and French Fry Day. Ooh. Craving fries now. What's your guys' favorite fries? I don't really have a favorite in particular, but there's like once in a while, like I prefer McDonald's. There's once in a while, I prefer the Five Guy French Fries or the Wendy's French Fries. And there's definitely days where I just want the Jack in the Box Curly Fries. Yep. And if I don't get it, then I'll just get what's close to me. What's close to me? McDonald's and Burger King? Jack in the Box? I don't even, I don't even know. I haven't, I haven't went to fast food in a while. Yeah, it was the, oh well. Oh, man. What do we got? Oh, I guess they didn't have that much moats. Mo mo Here we go. Stumbling on the words, on the verbiage, guys. What's going on? Need to give me some vitamin water. Hold the sugars. Yeah, jeez. And then there was this random video today I saw. On, it was either Instagram or Facebook. You know how they it randomly sco scroll on your searches and... Uh, once in a while, like, it'll, it'll follow, like, some random wrestling highlight just because I liked maybe just one random wrestler on accident. Apparently, your phone was like, oh, I'm going to bring up everything wrestling on your phone now. I was like, great, let's do this. And then they brought up a greatest hits or a highlight reel of... I just blanked that on his face. Oh, Randy Orton. Did they call him Viper? I guess. I don't know why. I kind of wa stopped watching watch wrestling years before that. I mean, uh, I mean, it is what it is. But yeah, uh, highlight reel of Randy Orton. 
And then I guess it was just his finishing move, the RKO, which isn't nothing spectacular. I've I've seen many forms of it before by the superstars before him. But anyway, it's not even about that. He looks like a good wrestler, very well physiqued. But I just don't get the pose that he does. It's like it's something he came out came up with from around his friends or his fellow wrestlers on accident. It's like he was asking it's either one of two things. He either has narcolepsy where he fell asleep mid pose during his demonstration to his friends, or he is bad at executing sneezes. Cause that's what it looks like. Cause what does he do? He does like this this statuesque type thing. But I mean it's like you're not really doing anything. Like he just like he's just like he if if he had narcolepsy, not shitting anyone with narcolepsy, but it's like he was about to do something epic and then he fell asleep. And then it's for like a good thirty seconds and his friends are like Yeah. Or he had a really like crazy sneeze in his nostrils and he couldn't get it out and his eyes are tearing but that's all like you know when you have like a sneeze that you can't get out that's all you focus on and everything just funnels down to that and time slows down so he's just huh, huh, huh. and they're looking it's like yeah that's cool Vince McMahon is like yeah yeah, yeah. just do do that yeah yeah, I, I I really don't get that pose. If if someone could message me or comment below like what that pose is all about, I'm sure there's an explanation, right? But oh well. Just semi hating, I guess. Jeez. Ah Alright. Well, I guess I guess I went through all these notes that I had. It just seemed more bullet pointed, I guess. I guess I'm not ranting as much. I just go full blast right at, at the point of my thought. I got, well, let's go with this one. Oh, yeah, there's a, a video circulating of Bill Nye demonstrating why masks work. And I'm thinking to myself, like, you needed a video to show why this thing covers your, your face, blocks a sneeze, blocks, or restricts air. It seems like, how can you not know the basic functionality of something covering an airway or a path. Like, I, I, I don't need a demonstration, like, knowing how a mask works. Like, obviously, it's not Halloween, so, like, I'm not using it for my own pleasure. Using it for safety. Obviously, it's blocking something. It's like, you can't breathe. Like, and people watch it like, oh, thank you for posting this video. Now I'm going to wear masks every day. Like, you needed a video almost six months in to like give you reasons why this thing works ah this is why this is why the aliens are laughing at us ladies and gentlemen and you know what i am laughing with them and, and there's nothing i can do about it you know that's the thing <laughs> full circle yeah it's like america just wants to be good at everything it's like oh fuck that we need to be good at at getting a lot of COVID viruses around, we need to get everyone infected. Yeah! And now look. Look where we're at. Yeah, super proud. Proud to be an American! America! Fuck yeah! Woohoo! Oh, I'm gonna sleep good tonight. Went to gym way too early. After that, I had a des the desire to play some basketball. And I, which apparently Justin and I did a few days ago. And you know what's fun? It's 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 fun how much I, I miss doing athletic stuff like that, I guess. My ball control is still pretty good. Still got a few drills and refreshing. It was very rusty. But holy shit! My field goal percentage sucks! I'm doing something wrong. It's either I'm releasing too late, not getting good at arc, but my god! My shooting fraction was like one out of 93 shots. But Justin's good though. Justin can shoot, can make, can drop in dimes from anywhere on the court. That's the only thing. Yeah, he, he can shoot. I got the ball handling. 
You know what I mean? I mean, that sounds totally horrible if you were listening to that with your eyes closed. But we're talking about basketball, people. Oh, jeez. Let me get some sugar in my system. Oh, yes. A bound organic dark chocolate cherry mix. It's like a trail mix. Organic, sort of good for you. Not that much sugar. Which is great. I just feel weird and all that stuff. Mmm. Other than that, getting new habits. Eating that was probably a bad idea on this podcast, but now I'm just still chewing. And a lot of people on I like, hate mouth noise and stuff like that. So let me just take a drink of this. And another thing that I picked up, I already picked up, I did it before, but I guess starting to do it again, I guess is um drinking apple cider vinegar. The organic one, and it has an ingredient called the mother, which I <laughs> beats me. <laughs> you called the mother, like you couldn't come up with anything like better than that. Like, geez, that's like drink something creepy. It's like, why don't you drink some apple cider vinegar organic with the effective ingredient of the mother? It's like, ah, <laughs> that's so weird. You call it the mother. I'm sure there's a story behind that, but you could have changed something, right? Oh, jeez. What's going on, people? Yeah. Got this child over here. It's actually not bad, considering that... I think Hasbro. Hasbro that's making these toys. Like, a lot of figurine stuff didn't really look that great. But, I don't know. I guess that's how they manufacture stuff now. I can't hate doing that. No one else is doing Star Wars toys. But this one, I'd say, is pretty damn impressive. Other than that, he has no legs or anything. Like it's just it's just plush underneath. But I mean, it's not like he you need him walking around naked, <laughs> weirdo. Yeah, the face and eyes is very detailed, and it's two size, I believe, and it looks cool. Once in a while, it'll freak me out. Like let's say I'll, I'll go outside and then back inside. And it looks like, I don't remember put him putting him there. And every time I'm walking in the door, he's always facing the door. That's cute, I guess. But sometimes creepy. I don't know. Get one. See what happens. Maybe, you got, maybe you'll get the possessed one. I don't know. Chucky style. The child. The child's play. Oh, shit. That's cool. Yeah, we'll cross universes on that one. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. I think I got through everything today, guys. Like, I, I really don't know what else to talk about. It's like, other than that, like, I, I, like, I, nothing else pretty much going on other than recording new stuff. I'm debating on doing this cover. Very, very left field from what I'm used to, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, well, a lot of people thought my Dance Monkey cover was cool and obscure of what I normally do. I mean... Still rock. I like doing rock stuff if it's not pop punk stuff. But yeah, that's, that's pretty fun. Oh yeah, please check out that Dance Monkey and check out the next one that I'm coming out pretty soon, hopefully. I think I finished tracking drums for it, but still a lot of tweaking to go out. Oh yeah, if you haven't yet visited my online shops, you can now get the official... Audio Ramen vinyl stickers. We have this in regular vinyl. And the hologram, which is a very limited supply. And as well as these limited edition 8250 pendants, pins, keychains, whatever you want to call it. We have it. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. I'm glad we got stuff to merchandise out and we got a lot of orders already and then yeah um sorry if you ordered one already a keychain and you haven't gotten it yet like uh apparently there's a security issue when you're sending out these kind of stuff nowadays i apparently there's a change i didn't get the email about it but apparently you can't send these type of things out from your home if it exceeds um a certain amount via a home envelope and, and they tag it with a with a security sticker which is the first ever i guess it's because of the times but oh well and yeah i'm out of things to say 
I cooked. I don't even know what it's called. Ravioli Alfredo, I guess. Kind of mix it up with some smoked sausage, mushrooms, kind of blended my own pesto together. You're damn right I can cook. Jeez, you just see me dance. But I don't dance for free. Bow, 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 bow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I guess that's all I got. But yeah, please like and subscribe to the channels of anything that you see below and recommend it at its next. Please watch, like, subscribe, wash your hands, wear your mask. Don't be a dick. Don't stab anybody if they're homeless. Because you never know if you can't get bailed out for $200,000. How crazy is that? But yeah, be kind to one another, folks. Wash your hands. Wear your mask. Stay distance. Text a friend. Say that you love your family. And thanks for tuning in to The Thing. <laughs>